Hey guys, welcome back to the second part. Now in the last video we learned how we can basically transform a JSON or dictionary column into a proper data frame regarding this option here. If you want to watch the video again, take a look at the last one. Now in this video I'd like to show you what happens if we have a string format. So you see this data frame actually looks kind of the same as the one from the last video, however if I execute this and then I take a look at the data frame, df, like that, you will see that this time it looks actually the same, but we will not be able to apply JSON normalize directly to that. It's because if I try that, just to show this to you, df, or in this case, sorry, pd dot, in this case, JSON underscore normalize, normalize, and then I'm trying to reference the student info, so df student info, student info, info and execute this we'll see that we run into an error here so it doesn't work because it is a string so here you can see it is actually formatted as a string and that's why the JSON normalize will not work because the JSON normalize needs a JSON or a dictionary type so what can we do well we can actually import a specific library from Python which is built in by default and very powerful, but not many people know it. It's the literal eval function. So you can write from est, AST, import, and then literal eval. Let me execute this. So you see that we have imported, uh, the, in this case, the function. And now we can apply this to student info. So let me show you first what data type is student info. So if I say type and then uh, df student info student uh, info and then the first element you can choose any of those three but let's say the first one I see that this is currently a string right which we can also see here directly now if we wrap the literal eval function around that let's do that let's say let me actually copy this control C and paste it here and now let's say the type of the literal underscore eval and then we put this inside and close the parenthesis and execute this. Now we see we have a dictionary. So this means that this function allows us to transform our string, or in this case dictionary, format it as a string into a real dictionary or JSON file, which in Python is more or less the same. So this allows us then to do the same as we have done before, but first, as we've seen here, we need to apply the literal evolve function. So we could say, in this case, uh, df student info, student info is equal to, and say df student info, student info, and then I want to apply this on all the columns, so dot apply, and then I say simply the literal eval function, eval, like that. Let me execute this. Okay, we are good to go. So now, if I take a look at df student info, just to check, info, and then the first element. And of course we want to know the type, so let's go back in here and say type of that. And we see that we have converted it into a dictionary. And this means we can now apply the JSON normalize. So if I say, for instance, uh, pd.json underscore normalize, normalize, and then I put in the df student info, student info, I will get all the information for, as you can see, uh, for all of them. So for Fry, for Lila, and for Bender, and I can see that I have my data frame, and now all I need to do is concatenate this data frame, which I can extract from here, with the original one, which we've also done in the last video. Okay, so that's the trick here, applying this literal eval function in order to convert our string into a real dictionary or JSON file. Okay, so that's the trick here, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Please try it out yourself. If you have questions, feel free to ask, Otherwise, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like that and also more videos for Tableau, Power BI and all other kinds of things you might be interested in. So thanks a lot, take care and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.